Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. From Newcastle United confirming January, deal with hugely talented defender until 2025. A bit of breaking news, Fabian Shah has extended his contract by another year. That's until the summer of 2025. His Newcastle deal was set to expire at the end of this season. To a Fabrizio Romano exclusive as Newcastle have been handed a major boost in their pursuit of out-of-favour Manchester City midfielder Calvin Phillips. Oh! Plus a huge update on Newcastle's sporting director Dan Ashworth's potential move to Manchester United. Are you sure about that? With Eric and Hag, so they are building their idea of Manchester United. Then I sure this To Newcastle, captain wanted by European giants. To Newcastle United prepared to sell fan favorite for the right price in January. What? As well as the transfer talks for Newcastle United midfielder planned as deal set to expire with two clubs interested. Boring. Join as we delve into into the latest Newcastle United transfer news. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss a single moment of this incredible journey. Let's go! Starting off, Newcastle United has officially announced that Fabian Schaar, the Swiss international, has signed a new contract that will keep him at St. James a Park until 2025. Despite recently turning 32, Schaar has been performing exceptionally well and has been likened to a fine wine that gets better with age. The new contract extension follows a two-year deal that Shar signed in 2022, which included a clause allowing for a one-year extension. Since joining Newcastle from Deportivo La Coruna in 2018 for a mere £3 million, Shar has made 169 appearances for the club, finding the back of the net 11 times. Under the management of Eddie Howe, Shar has been a consistent presence in the team's defense and was part of the Premier League's strongest defensive unit last season. He has also showcased his goal-scoring abilities with memorable strikes, including one in a two, zero victory over Nottingham Forest, and another in a four, one triumph against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League at St. James and Park. After putting pen to paper, Fabian Shar said, I've said it a lot of times, but I feel really at home here. Shar told the club website, I feel so comfortable living in Newcastle. I love the city, and I love playing for the club and the incredible fans. I can't say enough how much I love them and how much their support means to me. Playing for this team where I feel so comfortable with all my teammates and with the coaching staff feels really like a family for me, so I'm really grateful to stay here a bit longer and hopefully to have some more exciting times. This was followed by Howe's reaction to the new deal saying that, Fabian has been excellent for us. Since I've come to the football club, he's been a model of consistency and a big part of our success. He's defended very well, but he's hugely talented with the ball as well, so we're delighted that he's extended his time here. Then moving on, Newcastle United's pursuit of Manchester City midfielder Calvin Phillips has received a significant boost, according to the Daily Mail. Phillips has found himself out of favor at Manchester City since his arrival from Leeds United in 2022 and is now free to seek a new club in the January transfer window. The England international has had limited opportunities for regular game time, starting just two league matches for the defending champions. He has dropped down the pecking order at the Etihad Stadium, and injuries have further hampered his chances of getting minutes on the pitch. With Euro 2024 approaching, Phillips needs regular playing time to secure his place in the England national team. A January move is likely to be on the cards for him. While Juventus had previously been linked with a move for Phillips, the Italian club has reportedly cooled their interest in the midfielder, as reported by Fabrizio Romano. This development serves as a boost for Newcastle United, who are actively seeking to strengthen their midfield options for the second half of the season. Newcastle is currently dealing with injuries to Elliot Anderson and Joe Willock, while Sandro Tonali is suspended until next season. As a result, manager Eddie Howe has limited options available to him in a crucial area of the pitch. The potential acquisition of Phillips would provide much-needed reinforcement to Newcastle's midfield and offer him the opportunity for regular playing time. Overall, the report suggests that Newcastle United has a more favorable chance of securing the services of Calvin Phillips due to Juventus's decreased interest, and the club is actively seeking to bolster their midfield options for the remainder of the season. I could see that as a very real possibility. Then, 
Fabrizio Romano has provided an update regarding the potential move of Newcastle United's sporting director, Dan Ashworth, to Manchester United. Dan Ashworth is really appreciated, but it doesn't mean that he's guaranteed that he's going to join Man United because at the moment Newcastle are still denying this possibility, insist on the idea to continue with Dan Ashworth as part of their project, but the interest from Man United is real. So is Dan Ashworth the one who will decide? At the moment he's understood to be happy at Newcastle, to be very happy with the project there, very focused on Newcastle, but let's see what Ineos will decide to do, because the appreciation is real and concrete. Then, according to The Sun, Newcastle United captain Jamal Lascelles is reportedly attracting interest from European giants, indicating that he may face another spell as a backup player. Under manager Eddie Howe, Lascelles has slipped down the pecking order, with Fabian Schaar and Sven Botman forming the preferred centre-back partnership. Although Lascelles, aged 30, has started 12 of Newcastle's 20 Premier League games this season. Most of those appearances have come as a replacement for the injured Botman, who has now returned to the lineup. Besiktas, currently in sixth place in the Turkish Super League, is hoping to strengthen their squad for the second half of the season. They already have former Premier League players such as Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Arthur Maswaku, Daniel Amarty, and Cenk Tosun in their ranks. The club is reportedly interested in acquiring Lassell, potentially adding him to their squad in Istanbul. Besiktas is in need of a centre-back following the release of Eric Bailey, the former Manchester United player. Bailey was one of several players let go due to poor performances. However, Bailey quickly found a new club and signed a deal with his former team, Villarreal, just one day after his departure from Besiktas. The potential move to Besiktas could provide Lascelles with an opportunity for more regular playing time, as his current situation at Newcastle sees him occupying a backup role. Then, Newcastle United is reportedly open to selling Sean Longstaff in the January transfer window if the right offer comes along. Longstaff, who came through the club's academy, holds an important connection between the squad and the supporters at St. James Park. The 26-year-old midfielder has become a regular in Eddie Howe's starting lineup, contributing 11 goals and 11 assists in 161 appearances across all competitions for the Magpies. However, Newcastle's ambitions to strengthen their squad have been hindered by financial fair play FFP restrictions. These restrictions prevent the club from making significant additions to ensure their participation in European competition for the 2024-25 season. According to The Sun, Newcastle is open to selling Longstaff to generate funds and provide themselves with more opportunities in the transfer market. Selling homegrown talent is seen as the best way for the club to bolster their finances quickly. However, Newcastle lacks other players who meet the criteria of being homegrown. Manager Eddie Howe is likely to be reluctant to part ways with Longstaff, given his consistent presence in the team. Featuring in 50 of Newcastle's last 58 Premier League fixtures, with 40 of those appearances as a starter. Newcastle's failure to qualify for the knockout stages of the UEFA Champions League, or even the last 32 of the UEFA Europa League, has left them in a challenging situation regarding their business in the January transfer window. The club has limited sellable assets, and any fringe players in the senior squad are unlikely to generate significant transfer fees. While there have been suggestions of a potential astronomical bid from Paris Saint-Germain for Bruno Guimaraes, it is unlikely that Newcastle would sell him. Additionally, the club has a commitment to sign Lewis Hall from Chelsea for £28 million at the conclusion of his loan spell, indicating their intention to strengthen the squad in the future. Then, in a recent development, Newcastle United midfielder Joe White has expressed his desire to extend his loan spell in League Two, as confirmed by Crew Alexandra manager Lee Bell. The 21-year-old's half-season loan is set to expire soon, following the upcoming round of matches. White has been a regular for Crew, featuring in 24 games across all competitions this season and scoring three goals, including a match-winning goal against promotion rivals Mansfield Town. Crew Alexandra is keen to extend White's loan until the end of the season, recognizing his contributions and value to the team. However, White's impressive performances have also attracted interest from elsewhere. League Two Leaders
Stockport County are reported to have inquired about the possibility of signing the 21-year-old. Newcastle United will carefully consider their options regarding White's short-term future, taking into account their current injury situation at the club. The decision to allow players to leave on loan will likely be made with caution. White is contracted with Newcastle until 2025, but has yet to make a competitive appearance for the first team. Crew manager Lee Bell has confirmed that he will be speaking to Newcastle with the intention of extending White's stay at Gresty Road. It is in Newcastle's hands. Joe wants to stay and we want him to stay. I'm going to have to speak to them again and try to sort something. We are giving him the opportunity to play and express himself, and that will help him further down the line. I'll talk to them. I'm not sure what they will do, the crew manager Lee Bell said. However, there remains uncertainty surrounding the midfielder's future in this transfer window. The final decision will depend on various factors, including Newcastle's injury concerns and the potential interest from other clubs. Then in other Newcastle United news, Yankuba Minte, a winger for Newcastle United, has been called up to participate in the Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON, 2023. He was initially included in a group of 43 players for pre-tournament training, and he has now been named in the final squad of 27 players representing Gambia. The scheduling of the AFCON 2023 has encountered some challenges to avoid overlapping with major European leagues. Originally planned to take place in the summer of 2023, the tournament was eventually postponed and rescheduled to be held from January 13th to February 11th, 2024, in Ivory Coast. This decision was made due to concerns about adverse weather conditions during the summer. In the past, Newcastle United fans have expressed concerns about losing key players, such as Papa Sisse, Demba Ba, and Chick Tiote, during the AFCON tournament. This is because these players would be absent for a significant number of games, potentially impacting the team's performance in the Premier League. However, at present, Newcastle United does not face immediate concerns in this regard. Yankuba Minte has been on loan at Feyenoord this season and has been performing well. He made his senior international debut for Gambia in September and scored an important goal in their final group game, securing a two, two draw, and confirming Gambia's qualification for the AFCON 2023 finals. Gambia is one of 24 countries participating in the tournament. In their group, they will face Senegal, Cameroon, and Guinea. Then, Newcastle United has recently introduced individuals to its inaugural fan advisory board, FAB. The FAB, consisting of nine members, was officially announced in November 2023 as an integral part of the club's comprehensive fan engagement plan. The primary purpose of the FAB is to facilitate open and constructive communication between the club's supporters and key decision makers. The board will serve as a crucial channel for two-way dialogue focusing on various aspects such as the club's strategic vision, objectives, business operations, stadium-related matters, and key matchday issues. Additionally, the FAB will address relevant heritage items, community activities, and the club's commitment to equality, diversity, and inclusion, EDI. The establishment of the FAB underscores Newcastle United's dedication to involving its fan base in shaping the club's future direction and enhancing the matchday experience. The board members will play an essential role in providing valuable insights, representing the interests of the supporters, and fostering a closer relationship between the club and its fan base. By actively engaging with the FAB, Newcastle United aims to ensure that the voices of its supporters are heard, their concerns are addressed, and their perspectives are considered in decision-making processes. This initiative reflects the club's commitment to building a strong and inclusive relationship with its loyal fan community. Then finally, if you want to know why Newcastle United's future is about to horrifyingly change, click the video on your screen now.